Welcome to The Architects, a RimWorld fluid ideology series about pursuing the Archonexus. Episode 16, Bunny Got Your Tongue. To briefly recap last episode, we managed to maximize our memes. We have now the collectivist meme, the final one as the game restricts you to only four, but it has reset Zaleb's role, so we're gonna have to do a role change ceremony for her sometime soon. We also have a quest outstanding to sell to Lindsay City, and I'm gonna accept this for the heal mech serum, and I'll just accept that now. This episode's priority is going to be to make investments into our trio. So, what I mean by that is when you ascend the Arc Nexus, you are restricted from bringing a certain amount of wealth. So for us to benefit most greatly when ascending the Arc Nexus, it would be best if we buy skill trainers for ourselves and implant bionics that make us stronger. So that is going to be our priority. Another thing I would like to do is to address the issue of uh, slave fraternization with our uh, trio. So if you take a look here, um, Bonnie has not yet flirted with Slave 5, but Slave 5 is pretty. And as a result of Slave 5 being pretty, it's really only a matter of time until Slave 5 and Bonnie uh, try to become a couple again. And I really don't want that. So I'm going to do something to stop it because it just doesn't interest me. And what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to surgically remove Slave Five's tongue so that he cannot speak to Mistress uh, Bunny. And I'm also going to modify the other slaves so that they look the proper part. This is something I hadn't done yet, but I intended to. So shaved heads and the ideologically white clothing. And Slave 5 no longer has a tongue, meaning that his talking will be zero. Can't flirt with no tongue. Soon I will have bionic replacements researched, which means that I very much want to get a bunch of advanced components uh, made for when bionic replacements get researched, but I'm in the middle of a solar flare So obviously it's gonna wait until it's over which is now Look at that timing is brilliant I'm also expanding the top left corner for some additional room inside of our walls in case I want to add buildings or the like. Let's have Trustin prop that door open. There we go. And now he'll be heading down here to make a whole bunch of advanced components for bionics once Sven fully researches bionics. Another thing that I want him to do is to uh, finish the tailoring project. So I'm going to cue some animals out here to be hunted and then also prioritize tailoring over smithing. Trustin is going to be very busy. Sven, as soon as the work drive comes off cooldown, will uh, we'll work drive Trustin so that he can work a little bit faster. Now I did mention that uh, we want to do a role change for Zleb, so that's gonna be another thing I do pretty soon. I'm gonna reorder these slaves a little bit. So I'm also gonna want an EMP launcher and we'll give the EMP launcher to slave one, allowing him to have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of weaponry to be able to deal with mechanoids. And let's continue to process our slaves properly. This is something I'm going to need to remember to do when we get new ones, is to shave off their heads and dye their clothing. I'll probably not need to dye their clothing as long as I remember to strip my slaves before I sell them or gift them or whatever. Alright, there we go. Properly colored. 
and bald. Now before I sacrifice the donkey, I can have this donkey. I'm just going to name it donkey. Doesn't get a name because it will be sacrificed at some point. I'm going to have this donkey uh, help to deliver the slave body straps to the colony requesting them. I also want to set up these slaves here so that they do not wear uh, legendary clothing. So in case I make a legendary body strap or something like that, uh, the slaves leave them alone so that I can sell them instead. Making a whole lot of masterworks, though. That's pretty good. So the trade to Lindsay City is up here. And I have about 20 days left. And I only need to make five more straps, so it's going to be pretty easy to source. Another thing I'd like to do is for the serums and trainers that I have, let's, uh, let's keep them stored in our ritual room. That seems to make the most sense. The moisture pump has successfully removed all the moisture from where the trade zone is, so I can expand the trade zone back to where it should be. And what is Trustin working on now? Let's, uh, now that I remembered, let's do the role change for Zaleb. So Zaleb is going to become a Prime Guardian, and we really don't need the trio to attend this ceremony. I'll just attend it with, uh, with slaves two through four, or two through five. So if we're making some bionics, one thing I'm gonna want is to get as many components as I can get without having to craft them myself. So I'm queuing that up now. That also means probably hauling the remainder of the components up here, there's 10 of them, and hauling them back to storage. Uh, that excellent um, EMP launcher is going to go to Slave 1, so that if I get attacked by mechanoids, uh, he can help shut them down a bit. We have 12 straps, and I'm going to have to expand the material allowed to make the straps to plain leather uh, as well, because we're out of cloth. Let's update the home zone to include this new section. So it's clean and clear of debris. And then we can break down the old doors and walls that are no longer needed. So Slave 5 right now is upset because his organ got harvested, his tongue, right? His missing tongue. But that's in order to keep him from being killed by Mistress uh, Bunny. So he might not like it, but dear Lord, is it worth it? Let's clear out the priorities of the weapons here, because obviously I don't want to have weapons in my ritual room. That would encourage the slaves. And instead, put uh, serums and neuro trainers. So that when we get that heal mech serum, it's stored somewhere relatively safe and uh, clear of theft and, and destruction.
I'd also like to work on removing some of these bodies. I don't need all those skulls. So uh, that's a to be done as well. Now, the only people that can haul these weapons back are going to be uh, the people of my trio because these slaves aren't allowed into the weapons room. Or, two of them were, but that's just because I had messed up and needed to update their uh, allowed zones. And now, yeah, Slave 5 really can't flirt at all. So, good. Very good. Alright, Sven, let's haul this last SMG before it causes problems. That donkey is very well armed. Trust in his stockpiling advanced components uh, so that when it comes time to make the bionics, I can do that really quickly. And then... I have uh, Bunny and Slave 5 nearly done mining all the regular components from the mountainsides. The compact machinery left over by societies long dead. Oh, there's a little bit here as well. The next research I want is the biofuel refining, as that's going to allow me to make a little chem fuel uh, for a fire source to be able to get rid of all these corpses. And also, uh, you know, for the purpose of... Um, Attacking in the future, you know, if I want to set things on fire. So my straps are up to 13, but I'm out of leather to be able to make number 14 and 15. And there's no wildlife to be hunted, so I just have to be patient, I think, at this point. Just wait for the remaining cloth in this, or cotton in this field to be harvestable. So Trustin is now idle. Uh, let's have you make regular components until 50. Keep working on that uh, crafting skill so that the quality of the crafts that you make are maximized. I'm going to break down this moisture pump and move it just so that I get rid of the remaining sand a little bit faster. This one can stay, and this one can stay. So we'll stick a moisture pump here, and that will resolve the remaining moisture uh, in just one expansion spread, which will be more quick. I could build two more uh, to cover up the, the remaining zones, but I'll just be patient and do it for less money. Let's take a look to make sure that there's no more natural resources left. There's one there. And I think we have now mine stripped everything, uh, which means it's probably about time for a ground pattern training scanner. So I'm going to get one constructed uh, here. And then I want to put the ground pattern training scanner in a uh, uh, nine or a 36 tiled room. Uh, not including this limestone here, so a room of this size. For the purposes of heating and cooling, if it comes to that. So then the remaining area here, I'm going to smooth out. 
And let's not put a roof over it until the smoothing parts are done. Bottle for refining is almost done being researched. And then once Trustin's done with that project, uh, we are going to queue up Bionic Legs, three of them. One for each trio. And then eventually start improving others as well. But first the trio and then everybody else. Well, not the slaves, but... Zleb, I mean. How close is this cotton? Uh, it'll take a few more days. I'm going to change this hot field over to Psychoid. I'm just going to call this Field 1. I'll start naming the fields like that. And my donkey got the plague, which is unfortunate, because um, I was going to use the donkey to deliver the slave body straps, but now it is plagued. I think I'm going to allow this donkey uh, some, some medicine here, and then I'm going to solar pinhole so that our tending is a little bit higher quality, mm. rather than install a light. Let's hit work drive with Trustin. Oh, he went to sleep. Never mind. This Trustin soon will be doing bionics smithing, and that's going to be a lot of labor. So I don't believe that there's any more resources in these mountains except for steel. I think we got everything else out. So, Slave 5 and Bunny, uh, I will allow you to start getting the steel. And I think what I'm going to do is just queue up all the steel on the map tile uh, to be mined out. And then you can just prioritize whatever nodes you want to go to. But most of the resources on this map tile have been exploited. Just about all of them. Okay. We will see the power of work drive now. Holy cow. It is ridiculous. This donkey is recovering from the plague nicely. And there's still no animal wildlife out here to hunt, unfortunately, which means uh, we're really waiting on this cotton for the remaining slave body straps. But as soon as Trustin finishes smoothing, uh, we'll be able to get bionics, which was one of the goals that I had set out for myself, which is good. Now, as soon as these Drago trees are harvestable, I do intend to change this crop over maybe to Devil Strand as well, now that it's protected. And we did just get biofuel refining, so I'm going to start to get bio sculpting. Bio sculpting is going to help uh, Zleb remove these really nasty battle scars uh, from the time that we enslaved her. And let's get a biofuel refiner uh, to be able to make some explosives. So I'm going to put that uh, maybe here. No, uh, that blocks an interaction spot. I'll put it here. And we have a lot of uh, corn to be able to refine. All right, so we are going to do chem fuel from organics. I'm going to make until I have 300 of it, and we'll make it out of vegetarian. And then I'm probably going to need to place the chem fuel somewhere safe because it is, of course, highly flammable. 
And at the moment, I don't really have a good spot other than in here, which is um, less than ideal. But I'm going to put it in here anyway. So... We'll put chem fuel. Critically important that chem fuel goes in here. Uh, because this spot here is not that close to power cables. So it, it has a, a low chance of um, uh, being sparked if there's a feedback event. And then this chem fuel is going to be used to make a Molotov cocktail. Or actually, I'm going to hold off on the Molotov cocktail because they cost cloth and I need to make slave body straps. So that's going to be a project for later. But I do want the chem fuel for now. But all the cloth should go to clothing. And still no animals to hunt for leather. Slave 5 is having a bit of a tough time mood-wise with that missing tongue. The other slaves are doing okay-ish. Which is good enough for me. We're starting to manufacture the bionics. So I believe that is the first. Oh, that's the second leg. We got two legs already. And a combat supplier flying overhead. I can't imagine there's really much for us to trade. Venom fangs, I guess, and a shield core if we want to part with it. I'm actually going to keep it. That was a very, very light trade. Just the venom fangs we took out of. Uh, I forget which slave it was. One of these slaves. But now that we have the bonic legs, I am going to give one of these legs to Zaleb and have Zaleb hop in that bed. And Sven, you are going to do the operations. With herbal meds, which is a little dangerous. You know what? I'm... I'm going to cop for the proper meds. So there's a way to maximize your medicine here. So what we could do is we can anesthetize with the herbal meds and then complete the surgery with the glitter world meds. So we only use one glitter world med for the surgery and one herbal med for the anesthetization, uh, which is a way to sort of min max your med usage. Except for I didn't do it right and use two. But there we are, a bionic leg, and that's going to help to offset uh, some of the scarring that Zaleb has. And then the other leg is going to go to Bunny, and I'm going to have that one queued up now as well. So I'm going to do uh, a right leg for Bunny. Kicking Zaleb out of that bed. go. Two bionic legs installed. Being able to outrun your enemies is a very powerful tool. Okay, unfortunately, uh, Zleb, because she was uh, rescued and all... Oh, there we go. Dropped temporarily her weapon, which is a bit dangerous. And I do have a large monument to the Empire of the Moon being requested of me, which I will accept for Sven and we will set this thing up behind our walls so that it is secure kind of looks like a skull which is very fitting ideologically uh, all I have to do is to make sure that it is not um, blocking wind at all and then not on soft sand so I'll set it up uh, there Still no wildlife for those slave body straps. That's unfortunate. Okay, we 
do have another Bionic Leg, and Trustin's working on the advanced components for the last leg. I do, like I said, want to get one of each. The donkey's up, so Plague Immune. So the donkey will be able to escort us to the slave body strap delivery now that it's immune and I don't foresee that I'm going to be able to get that done anytime soon given that there is just no wildlife being wandered in. I could settle another map tile or go to a hunting site or something like that, but I'm just going to be satisfied with uh, with waiting. I'm in no rush. So this monument here is going to be made pretty much exclusively out of sandstone. Because it is a cheap stone. We have a lot of. And uh, if Trustin should probably smith over construct. I'd rather have the bionics. I'm eager to get that last leg. Reth Rumbo's coming in. Ooh, lovely. That'll be good for wealth. I'm gonna wait to hunt them uh, till sunup because I am at a movement speed disadvantage. Plus, I, I probably should wait until the anesthesia wears off of both Zleb and Bunny so that they are the most accurate they can be. So it seems like I have... Why do I feel like I'm missing a Bionic Leg? Oh, well, maybe I only queued up three. So let's queue up a fourth. Okay, Zleb's Anesthesia has worn off. And Bunny's is still wearing off. I'll wait. Checking health conditions to see if any of them are particularly easy to hunt, and they're not. Still useful information, I suppose. Alright, we're finally at a point where we can have a concrete path um, around the perimeter uninterrupted. Which helps us sort of react to attacks. Costs a lot of steel, of course, but uh, I, do, I do think it's worth it. So, I'll get that going. And Bunny is no longer anesthetized, so let's get them all out here. Rallied and ready to fire. Waiting on Zleb. Zleb, hit your marksman command. And go at max range or so, which is about this. Uh, it hit all of the Thrumbo, so I'm going to use Vertical Pulse on the other two. While I back up, Vertical Pulse is going to cause the other Thrumbo that are hostile to vomit, um, meaning that they can't chase us as easily. And they're going to get confused. And yeah, that, uh, that definitely did it. The high quality weapons and the side casts making very quick work of these Thrumbo. And that will allow uh, Trustin to make some glorious Thrumbo clothing for us. Uh, Slave 5 just had a mental break uh, due to his tongue being harvested. He'll get over it in a few days, but rough times ahead for him, I suppose. And Slave 3, or no, Slave 4 is our cook? Yeah, so Slave 4. With the trade inspiration that Trustin just got, um, I may want to bring a trade caravan out to... Maybe he'll be the one that goes to Lindsay City and sells some of the uh, Thrumble Horn and the like. Here we go. Because that will be very... A lot of, lot of wealth. 
Uh, take a look at her gear. We are wearing some synth red pants and shirts, so I think what I'm going to do is for pants, thrombo fur, um, do until I have one only allowed ingredients and only in good condition and make with Trustin. And then we'll do the same thing for all the other types of clothing. Just so that I, I can make sure that basically everybody is in uh, thrumbo clothing uh, for shirts and pants for now. The reason I'm not doing dusters is I can change over to recon or locust armor instead. So I'm going to hold off on making outer layer clothing. Because I don't think it's going to be immediately useful. Or long term useful I should say. We're also getting the leather that we need, or the cloth rather, that we need for these slave body straps. So I'll get that going soon too. So let's prioritize tailoring over smithing. See if we can't finish up the uh, the queue here. So yeah, masterwork shirts is going to be incredibly good protection. Made a thrumbo. So. We are at 14 straps. And I'm just going to harvest these cotton plants early so that we can hit the 15 straps and get it delivered before the episode is over. Yet another masterwork. Uh, soon I will have to do some uh, clothing dyes because our trio are, you know, changing out their clothing. But I'm going to wait until everybody has had their chance to uh, to sort of wear what they want to wear before I start coloring it. Holy cow, is this a lot of messages. All right, so cargo pods for tea, free tea. I like it. Tea from the sky. Slave 5 is still psychotically wandering. He'll snap out of it soon, I suspect. And now Trustin is done with his tailoring. Does that mean we have the straps? We do. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is going to have Zaleb deliver them to Lindsay City. And Trustin's trade inspiration will be used uh, sometime else. So I'm going to send the donkey and Zaleb out with these straps. Three... 9, 10, 15. We will send a few meals, uh, potatoes for the donkey, a few spare meds, and get going. Uh, this is not going to be a trade. This is just going to be the quest fulfillment. Bio sculpting is researched, so let's get bio regeneration. Uh, so, bio sculpting will allow people to de age and that kind of thing, but uh, we really need the bio regeneration in order to um, fix what's wrong with Celeb. We're just about out of the thrombo fur, so I was very right to not queue up the dusters, because we would not have had the material. So now, these guys have sharp protection, hovering around 100, which is really good for not wearing any armor and not slowing us down at all. Uh, Trustin is now working full-time on this monument, which is totally fine. That's a good use of his time. And I think what I'm going to do is pause a second just to give uh, Sven some bionic leg and then, you know, return the favor uh, once his anesthesia wears off. And I am using the Glitter World meds uh, to be able to do this. At some point, it might be wise for me to research industrial meds. To have better medicine than just herbal. But not have to invest all the way up to glitter. Because glitter is quite expensive. So that's three of four legs. 
Zleb is only a little over half a day away. And we're looking pretty good. Now the remaining cloth is seven, so I was very right to not bother with the Molotovs just yet, because I would not have had the material. Um, and these bodies are sort of decaying on their own, but they're leaving a lot of ugly corpse bile. Which is something that I, I was hoping to avoid, but... With no source of ignition, no, that's just not possible. Okay, this is looking good. Uh, these doors here are going to be forced open, and then another thing I want to do is to make sure not to roof up uh, this monument. There's no point. So I'm going to paint a very large no roof zone over the entire farm complex. So that we don't bother with roof. I'm going to clean up my, my paintings here. Alright, that looks good. And let's correct this little hallway, no roof issue. Perfect. That will help insulate us a little bit more. We're still unroofed 13 tiles. Where? I have no idea. Oh, oh yes. Uh, in the stock room. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, we got some dromedaries. That will yield some leather. And another iguana. I would conservatively say Trustin's over halfway finished with that already. I am running a little bit low on sandstone blocks, but these slaves are cutting it pretty, pretty quickly. And then we'll have uh, some dromedary leather, some camel leather to make more clothing. Oh. I... somehow brought a tainted one? Is this tainted? Oh god, that is tainted. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Came all the way out here, and I'm just gonna have to turn around, because I didn't check. Unfortunately, uh, we had a tainted slave body strap that, uh, that counted against us. So, Sleb, um, your marching orders is just to come home. Uh, and I will get some camel hide uh, clothing for you for Trustin to make into another strap soon. Oh well, these things happen. Good shooting. I took a risk to try to shoot it, uh, and it paid off. Down it goes. Well, if I hurry, I might be able to complete the trade uh, before the end of this episode. So I suppose that's my new goal. All right, the soft sand in this location is cleared out entirely, so I can get rid of this sandstone wall. And then what I intend to do is to drop a wall down like this, uh, where this will be for weaponry that I, and maybe move the batteries in there as well. Maybe two separate sections, one for weapons, one for battery. I'll do that. I like that. That way these slaves have access to the batteries if they need access to the batteries and then the weapons um, can be kept separate so that they don't have access. And that gets rid of this little cabin thing here that I, I don't want to uh, use anymore. And that way, um, you know, there's not a trouble falling. Looks like we have some dromedary meat that is going to rot though. So, um... I think what I'm going to do is start to make some lavish meals. I'm going to cook until I have 17 lavish meals. And 
that will allow the extra meat not to rot and uh, give access to better meals. We have a climate adjuster. 11 pirates guarding a climate adjuster, which is probably making it colder. Yeah, it's it's cold. Okay, that's going to be a uh, something that we're going to have to deal with probably next episode. Likely leaning into the call aid for the aerodrone salvo or squad that... Uh, that uh, Sven can call upon. This monument nearly done, and that will make him uh, rank up as well, which is going to be pretty nice. So let's have the milestone for this episode be the completion of this monument, and then the ascension of Sven yet another rank up. That seems uh, like a good stopping point because this trade, of the Zleb's trade obviously failed due to the uh, tainted strap. So, we are going to need a throne room that is all fine floored, uh, which it, it currently is not, obviously. More impressive with drapes and a harpsichord. So, harpsichord research is going to be queued up in lieu of the bioregeneration, and then um, I am going to start to work on replacing the floors, uh, which means that this stone cutter here is going to go back to limestone, and we're going to have to piecemeal the floors from uh, regular to fine. And that is all the time I have. Thank you for watching episode 16 of The Architects, Bunny Got Your Tongue. If you have any comments or feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my Twitch subscribers and my Patreon patrons for supporting the channel. Without you, this channel would simply not exist. I will catch you next episode. Farewell, Architects. <laughs>